So, <laughs> I'm finishing up this apartment. Excuse my cough. And uh, this bathtub is actually just absolutely so gross. Uh, filled. It was, uh, I should have taken pictures before I started. Didn't, sorry. But the soap scum along this tub. I mean, can you see, can you see how it has different color there? That's just for me using a flat blade, a window scraper to take the soap scum off and take it all off. Well, and then here's the other part. Look at this nasty thing. Oh, it's so gross, look at this. Oh. Now my, my wife absolutely hates here in the drain. I'm gonna know it's a blame her, but ugh, cause it's so gross. And uh, we, 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 we don't have this kind of, this kind of problem at my house. Um, but uh, if we did, I don't think my wife and I would be together anymore. <laughs> She'd throw me out of the house. Isn't that gross? Yeah, yeah just more to get. It's in there really good. It's all cut up. Kevin, so you just get some clothes and take your hands in there. No. No. I'm not going to. No. I'm not. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll get it off of them. <laughs> okay, and here's what qualifies this particular apartment as the king of all what now apartments. Uh, you know, just did that nastiness. <laughs> Um, and so I figured I'd just see if, uh, you know, behind the, the drain cover here, see if there's maybe sometimes, uh, the hair will actually come all the way up here and especially if it's one of the lever stopper ones, this isn't, this is a plug stopper, but, uh, the lever stopper ones, sometimes the hair will go all the way up into that mechanism and you know, there's a brass chain basically that plugs the thing, uh, that can get all clogged. Well, didn't have that problem here because, you know, it's just a, it's just a straight train. But I pulled this thing out. I'm looking at this thing going, well, this whole area is just, I mean, it's basically all gone. This is a, a neoprene kind of foam, um, little gasket thing here. And it's, it's, it looks like it's in good shape. It's probably all this damage. I don't know what this is or if this is just, is it just build up? Is it just like a mold, mildew, dirt, scooge, or what is it? Scooge. All right, so since we have scooge in here, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this thing up and uh, for this out, because this has got a pretty good sized gap, the lid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because if water's going down there, <laughs> oops, that's not where it's supposed to go. You know that, right there. That's not where the water's supposed to go. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna work on this for an hour or so. Or however long it takes. So, it's out. It's in really bad condition. I first damaged it pulling it out, but now I have a replacement. Small so problem is,
Christ for him. So, my thought is, okay, either if I say split it, or shoe it, tuck it up, tuck it up, still doesn't resolve the problem with not thick enough. This is, this was just corn water down behind the tub. Anytime it got up to the overflow or splash, it would go down behind the tub before it even went down the drain. So I need to resolve that next. So let's see what happens if I can get one of these things in here. See what I get next. That's about all I can do. So it's in. Um, with a little help of a bunch of little tiny screwdrivers and some Lexel, I was able to get it. We're almost up to about here. This is a little bit of a gap. I just could not pull that back into place. It's really hard. Anyways, um, I'm gonna leave this to sit for a bit. And then I'm gonna come back and butter it. Yep, I'm gonna put some wax on. I'm just gonna go. And we'll call it done. That's all I can do. A few moments later. Okay, and being that this is in fact the designated what now apartment, uh, we're gonna get back underneath the sink and show you what now. What now is dripping. And mm -hmm, let's see if I can get some light in here. Mm -hmm. There it is. Alright. So Crawl back under here and see that it is leaking from the threads. Not out here, you know where I, you know where it was broken, where I had to sand it and you know bondo it and sand it flat again. No, now it's the threads. Now. I, I believe it's because this vanity is very thick and the, uh, you know, this, this pop-up uh, portion of the flange, I don't know what you call this, it just doesn't have enough threads exposed. And it just doesn't have enough threads to keep the water out of it. So I'm gonna pull it out and put in a longer one, which will oh, probably take me another 30 minutes or so. So yeah, this is definitely the jinx department.